For a good part of this day, the population of Washington, D.C. almost quadrupled. Now that's the big picture. Byron Pitts has the close-up. Everyone in this crowd has a story about why they had to make the journey here today and why it was so important for each of them to witness this moment in history. Hello, my name is Avery James Jordan. Avery Jordan was so determined to be here, he wrote his congressman for tickets. Because I want to see President-elect Barack Obama ready to become president. Sincerely, Avery Jordan. Avery flew from Oklahoma by himself. He scored seats in the VIP section with his cousin. And by the way, he's only 10 years old. What do you think the election of Barack Obama says to young people, young people who look like you? Wow. I can do anything that I will set my mind to, no matter what color of my skin. I can do this. I, I will do this. Barack Obama helped you believe yes. this. Maura Sullivan flew in from Boston last night. She's a Harvard grad student. She also happened to serve in Fallujah as a Marine Corps captain. I think I'll make a great commander in chief. You know, he, he never served a day in uniform. That doesn't bother me. I think that he possesses the judgment, the integrity, and the other character traits that I saw in military commanders that I served for in the Marine Corps. And those leadership characteristics will serve him well in the Oval Office. You guys, come on. I'm going in my blanket. 60 year old Edith Childs is a councilwoman from Greenwood, South Carolina. She got up at 4 a.m. yesterday morning. And we're fired up and ready to go. Fired. And rode a bus for nine hours with 30 others from her hometown just to be here. I don't care if it's 12. It doesn't matter. We are coming. There will be no inauguration without me being there. Edith grew up in the segregated South and never thought she'd live long enough to see this day. I said, society's not ready for a white woman and show sure ain't ready for no black man. That was my opinion. Fight up! Ready to go! Fight up! Ready to go! Edith became famous when her chant Fired up, ready to go. At a small rally in her hometown, became his signature slogan. Showing how one voice can create change. And if a voice can change a room, it can change a city. And if it can change a city, it can change a state. And if it can change a state, it can change a nation. He gives hope to Americans that 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 everybody has a chance in this country, which is what America is supposed to be about. It doesn't seem to matter to the people out here that their new president is just a speck in the distance, or that it's freezing cold out here, or that they've been forced to stand crammed together for hours. Most just seem grateful, thankful, to be a part of this moment in history. I did not vote for President Obama because of his race. It was not a factor in my decision. However, I, I don't think one can, at least I can't, detach myself from the historical significance of this day. I'm, re I'm really proud to be an American. We did a good thing. Congratulations, Mr. President. I would think about all those folks that lost their lives for this moment. When I think about it, I, I get real teary on the inside. Just knowing that the time has come and that the change is going to be better for all of us. And the day that we all can say we had a hand in it and to just see it. And 10 year old Avery Jordan will remember this day forever, if only in his dreams.